welcome back to our channel is your girl Tama stitches if you are just watching my video for the first time please press that subscription button there that red button press it and subscribe with us you will not regret it a lot of knowledge we put in there we've given a lot of lectures teach you how to sew blouse skirt different styles just press that subscription button so that you'll be one of us thank you to all my subscribers thank you very much for subscribing with us please i want to appreciate all of you who have been sharing my video thank you if you have any requests anything you want us to do for you any question just go to my section the the comment section there write it down there we'll attend to you so i'm going to be putting out some videos just stay tuned and watch my videos welcome back to our channel is your girl tama stitches so today i want to show us how to draft uh, a trendy top with a v uh waistline as an a v by the hem of the blouse okay this is my basic bodice pattern if you want to know how i draft this is in uh, videos you have uploaded already go to my youtube channel and watch some of them but let me just retrace this our shoulder line our basic bodies are here already here is the chest line here is my bust point so that the lines can be clear now my under bust is here at this line but you have to come up by half inch so that you have that cup uh, fitting that uh, very good fitting so you come up from your under bust by half inch that's what i just did here so now i've marked my uh, nipple to nipple measurement the nipple to nipple measurements i'm using is four inch four inch plus half inch joint allowance will give you four and a half so i've marked four and a half here now all the way down from our chest line all the way down let me make the line clear so that we visible okay so i'm going to be inserting our dart now i've already done it but let me just run it back again again so you come to under boss you take one and a half inch and towards the uh, armhole side then towards the other part you take half inch which is here so I'll mark it all the way down. That's what you can see here now. Let me mark it. Trace it out well. So here is our dart. So I'm using two inch of dart. So one and a half inch on the uh, outer part of the armhole side and half inch towards the inner part. Now let me connect it to the boss point. Two things you need to do. You come down by half inch if you want it fuller. Gives you more room half inch to the boss point and then half inch after the boss point up and down half half inch so by the time i connect it now with my core ruler this is what i'll get yeah and i come towards this side so i connect it also so this is what my dart looks like Now our shoulder slant here is one inch and the next line I'm using here is three inches. So let me connect our shoulder slant. Okay. For our armhole, I'm going to be inserting our bust measurement so that we can place our armhole. Our bust measurement I'm using here is bust measurement divided by four. We'll give you ten and a half so let me make our because she's a princess i'm going to be using a princess uh, style that here so take it up now for the front uh armhole we're always coming by half inch or three quarter inch so i'll be doing that get the midpoint that you know by now is in all our videos 
So I'll connect it. Connect it. So here is a front armhole. But like you know, the back doesn't have this. Now I've connected the dart down towards the full length. I'm using the full length of the blouse. The full length of this pattern paper here is 27 and a half is what I'm using. I'm using the whole 27 and a half for what I want to drop. So now I will come here now, measure 5 inches and to connect from that 5 inches now I make a straight line curvy line to my bust point okay oh, it's straight this is what we'll have see how beautiful the curve looks already but remember I'm going to be removing half inch dart on both side it will be on the line too so you take half inch here and take half inch here you see join them to this same line you have to slant your hand to be able to get that that well now i'm using this part of the dart line because i've taken out uh, this that i've removed there is going to reduce the length it's going to affect the length of the uh, ham hole here so i'm going to be extending it by one inch I'm going to be extending this by one inch and I'll make another another armhole line. If not, by the time you finish joining, it will not sit in well. So now here is our new armhole line. Let's blend this well. Let's blend this well. Good. So this is what we'll have now. You can see that. Okay, our princess that is now beautifully done. So what we're going to do now is insert all our measurement. So the under bust measurement I'm using divide by four is what we're going to be inserting there. So whatever you get, you insert it here. I'll insert mine here. Now remember I took two inches here. I'll have to repay it back here. See mark that. Then I'll now add my normal sewing allowance of one and a half inch. So we have our me our under bust measurement. Where do you have our bust measurement? Sorry. So let me add the that we removed here also so that. Then say add a one and a half inch allowance. It's better to have excess and cut it off later than to just have less and to become a problem when you are working on it. So I've done my underboss, the same underboss now. The same thing will mark down here. So let me join this two. It's still the same thing that comes here to the waistline. So now come to the hip line. The hip divide by four is what I'm going to be adding here. Hip divide by four is here already. I mark it here. Hope you can see very well. I'm marking my hip measurement here. Now I will have to add these two inches here that I removed as that, and still add my one and a half inch sewing allowance. So by the time I'm done. I will now join it to have something like this. And this is what we have. For the neckline, I'll be using uh, 3 inches. 3 by 3. So use a curve ruler. Okay. Rank off. So here, I'm done with the neckline. So now I'm done with the front bodies. What I need to do now 
let me blend this one is to do the back bodies on the same paper so to get that i'll just move in this down a little and we trace back the lines we have here already to just continue it's easier to have the same thing in the same paper just extend your your lines down extend the lines down Our waistline, extend it down, then the full length. So right now what I'm going to do is to make a line, just make an obvious straight line here. Make a straight line like this, all the way up. I just made a straight line all the way up. So all I need to do now is to insert my zip measurements i'll be using one and a half as my zip measurement mark it all the way down subscribe to this channel share with your friends all the way down one and a half okay so here is our zip Call it zip, zip allowance. So now let me see inside of our shoulder here. The shoulder I'm using, like I said, is eight inches. There is a half inch starting line here. These are eight inches. So let's mark the same eight inches here. Bring it down. Right now I'm sure you're used to this. Now let's insert our armhole there. Very easy. You know, with the back armhole, we don't add, we don't come in at all. So that's what we we'll have here. The same neckline is three inches here. Have my three inches by should I make this deeper? Ah, I'll just make it two inches make it two inches three inches by two inches of a rectangle oh yeah back neckline is three inches length by two inches so here's our neckline for the back so all we need to do to insert our boss palm measurement so that we can insert the dart there. Four and a half, all the way down. Okay, don't forget these are boss points too. Okay, roll it up. Okay, so I'll be adding my two inches, one and a half inch on this side, half inch on the other side, same thing at the under bust, one and a half inch here, half inch on this side, do the line all the way down. So I was trying to drop the back. I'm just going to insert our dart at the back, our normal dart. Just take it all the way down. So that's what I have here. So I just need to get my five inch here. Don't forget the shoulder slant, sorry. <laughs> Add our shoulder slant at the back. 
sorry we get our five inches there when you come to the back you don't put a dart at the armhole again you just connect straight connect it straight so that's all so this is how we all have for the back it's just straight like that just insert sorry just insert your measurement first divide by four mark that same thing with the waist measurement divide by four plus the dart allowance we already remove and we join 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 we join join just the old different so now this is what we have we need to look at it very well so now the style is uh, by the side of the blouse so what we're going to do here now let me do the front first if you know the length of the how deep you want your blouse where you want your blouse to stop is where it will stop so for me now i'm looking at taking seven inches from the side of my blouse this is the front pattern. If I take seven inches now, I will now curve it. I will curve it down to the tip there. I can use one leg of the dart to do it. Can you see what I'm doing? So that I get that V shape in front. Now this is it. Can you see that? Or if you want, if you don't want it curve, you can take a ruler and make it sharp. The more sharp you want it to be, you can, okay, if I'm going to use a ruler now, let's see. Let's see, let's see what we have here. Let's see, it's going to give me a different. So this is what I have if I'm using, if I'm making it straight, this is what I have if I'm making it curve. The aim is to get that V cut in front. You can also decide, okay, you want it after two inches. You want the V to start after two inches. I want it to be from this tip. Fine. You give maybe one inch allowance, then you now connect it. Once you do this, you come to the side of the back also and do the same. Whatever measurement you take here, like here I, have, I took seven inches. I'll come to the side of the back also, mark the same seven inches mark the same seven inches and connect it connect it straight to one leg of the dart in a curvy manner or in a straight way so this is what we're going to do if i cut it off now you see how it looks so i've cut it on the fabric this is what we'll have now this is the back you can see how it sits in well I remove the dart. This is this is the back, and this is the front. Now look at the sharp edge. For you to get, if you want it to be more sharp than this, you just have to make the center front longer. You make it longer. I made mine longer here by three inches to be able to get this sharp part of it. These are zip allowance. The zip allowance is here. Now this is it. This is the back. And here is the front. So let me open the back so that I look at it very well. Always make a mark at the back of your clothes so you don't make mistakes. And this center back with the zip allowance. I make the same mark and X sign. So now open it up like this. Open it up like this.
this is by the side and this is by the side you can see how beautiful it looks already see that V side bust shape this is it to get this V part of it call it bust stick so this is what we have for the back let me show you the front also so I'm going to be cutting the lining for this and the and put some interfacing now here is our center front like I said make it longer than your normal if your if your blouse length is 25 add 4 inch to it if you want this shape to come out very well it's a trendy top blouse can cut it I cut mine as a bust here to get that cup out you can do it as just ordinary pieces that you can do it as a bust here as a bit of anyhow you want to do it so this is it see how beautiful by the time you stitch it together now the V that shape down that's what you get but then I don't turn it and at times if you want it more shape I, here I use one and a half inch at the down part here, I use one and a half inch if you like can decide to use one inch just have a little space and make it sharp with a straight line I didn't curve it make it sharp and then this edge is a little bit curved you can see so this is where my tutorial on how to make this trendy V waist blouse and thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel share our video please always watch our video to the end i thank all of you who are watching this video to this end of the video thank you very much i appreciate all my subscribers thank you thank you very much keep sharing our video this is the only way we can help each other by learning free of charge but you know if you can watch my video i'll get more adverts and i too should be compensated also so thank you very much stay safe Thomas stitches love you thanks for watching